<laughs> that was my dryer going off. It's going to be a long, boring flight. I'm getting better, though. I can tell. I can definitely tell that I'm able to get easier kills, line up easier. That missile shot was very instinctual. At least the one that hit. I mean, he's coming straight at me, so... Great feats of piloting! But, you know... Part of why I wanted to play this game is the... I just got back into Space Sims after a long time not playing them. Excited about Star Citizen. Hoping to pick up Elite Dangerous soon. I should have done it in the reverse order, honestly. Get Elite Dangerous since that's like fully playable and then get Star Citizen. But, you know, uh, it's not what I did. <laughs> uh, so I figured I would come back and learn how to fly by playing all of the old space games and sort of evolve my skills with the technology. And I'm probably not going to put any of this explanation into the video <laughs> unless this happens to be the time that I don't explode doing this mission because of either spirit or my own rampant stupidity. I feel like I've just dared myself to kill myself so I don't have to put any of that into the video not going to happen. This will be the time that we actually survive a really easy mission. Ha ha! Ha ha! I don't know what that noise was that I was making, but I made it. <laughs> I don't want you as my wingman anymore. I don't want you anymore. Can I return her, please? <laughs> I think this one's broken. Ah, spinning time. Where's the nav point? Oh, I guess he's about to jump out. Because we got the little victory trail. Yep. Okay, that one I take full responsibility for! Alright, that was my fault. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go slow through the asteroid field. Even though this thing is 60,000 kilometers away. At these kind of speeds, would I really be able to see things visually? Eh, whatever. I'm supposing... I'm asking too much realism out of a game about giant space cats and starfighters shooting lasers at people.
At this point, I'm going for slow and steady over, like, fast, because I can use the magic of editing to make this seem like a shorter ride, and then I don't want to crash again. I do like using the missiles now that I know what I'm doing with them. They make things much easier. Go a little bit faster so that I can avoid the ones that I don't have on my screen before I forget they're there. That's what happened in the first mission was I was going slowly enough that I saw... I saw an asteroid go down, and I thought I had passed it, but I was still right up next to it, so I, like, turned right into it. Can we go around these things, please? Like, could we just go around the asteroid field and not have to do this at all? That would be wonderful. If I ever have to have a dogfight in an asteroid field, I will know. I will know that the game designers <laughs> hate my life. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, we're not that... F we can't possibly have to go... There can't be asteroids all the way to the Tiger's Claw. We have to break through eventually. If my detector here, my speedometer, and my rangefinder are to be believed, this asteroid field is 30,000 kilometers long! <laughs> what in the heck? That is not... Well, I don't know. Space is pretty big. I don't think that's normal, though. What would have to blow up to leave a pile of debris 30,000 kilometers long? Oh. Oh, thank whatever deity worships is worshipped by the Confederate nation. <laughs> thank the god of annunciation. We're through the... <laughs> Oh my gosh. We're through. I'm hailing them. As soon as I get in range, I'm hailing them, and we're getting out of this mission. Speed away. Wait, no, don't turn! What is that thing I'm... Can I... Talk to the Tiger Claw, please. We're getting really close. Please? Let me hail you! Target. Alright. We're lined up correctly. Target the Tiger's Claw. Calm. Tiger's Claw. Request landing. We're clear to land. Let's line up. And give it some engine power. Uh, we're upside down. I think. Please let me land. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, good grief! That mission's finally over with. Put my hornet down. Got away pretty clean, sir. Mission debriefing. It's always in about 600 hours. Good job out there, hotshot. Sport jumped right on schedule. You covered her well. That seems like a weird abbreviation for transport to me. Thank you, sir, but spirit deserves as much credit as I do. My hair is blue. Hotshot sign is too kind, sir. I only flew on his wing. At any rate, that was some nice flying. Well, let's review the mission report. Hotshot, you took out four kill Rafi. And Spirit got one. The Draymond Sport made his jump on schedule. And Hotshot, I want to see you in my office in a couple of hours. That's all, then. Dismissed. Uh-oh. Did I do something wrong? Colonel Halcyon's office. Blair, come in. I need to speak with you. Yes, sir? We'll be leaving Enyo soon, and I need to make some personnel changes. Effective immediately following the jump, you'll be reassigned. Uh, what did he say? 
I won't be- you won't be sorry. Good, I'm glad to hear it. I saw the word scimitar. That's all then, second little T. Dismissed. Something good happened. I just didn't get to see what it was. <laughs> the meritorious conduct in confronting the kill Rathi enemy. In the Enyo system, on or about 2654.110. Terran Confederation is proud to present the Bronze Star to Second Lieutenant Blair. Oh, cool! Your courage is exemplary of the Confederation's finest defenders. Good job, Hotshot. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Filled with pride, you meet the applause of your fellows. Cool. Okay. So, took a little look-see, looked it up. Is that a gun? Did he bring a gun into the bar? Oh, well, this wasn't Sonic. This was the 90s in space, apparently. Uh, I looked it up. I did not just get an award. I also was reassigned to a Scimitar Squadron, which is a type of fighter that is uh, slower, heavily armed, and uh, much better armored. So, that's pretty cool. So, let's see what Shot Glass has to say. Oh, I could fly training missions, but I don't want to. That's Iceman. Iceman? And Knight. Knight's a darn reliable pilot. A solid pilot. Not flashy at all. He's sort of a craftsman. Gets the job done, though. Iceman? He's an artist. Best pilot on the Tiger's Claw. Lives to fly and to fight. He's totally ruthless and completely deadly. Some of the pilots say he's got Freon for blood. At least, that's where he's got the call sign. Wait a minute. Iceman? That's Iceman! Let's see what Iceman has to say. Hotshot, they call me Iceman. Don't let night fool you. The Sim's a gun-heavy slug. Forget finesse, just head straight on in, guns blaring. Give me a ship that takes skill. A raptor, even a hornet. Or one of those new rapiers. If half of what they say is true, the rapier's a true artist's ship. That's cool. What about you, Knight? Hot shot, right? I'm Knight. Welcome to the Blue Devils. Ever flown scimitars before? I think you're gonna like them. A scimitar isn't quite as fast or as nimble as a hornet, but she's got twice the armor and heavier guns. And she handles like a centaurian mud pig. Iceman here will tell you your speed and handling will save you, but... But, uh, I'll take an extra three centimeters of Durastale plating any day. Cool. We got cool people. Eh, seven kills, two sorties. I'm catching up on you, Marshal. I got six missions to get five kills to tie you. Okay. Let's save the game. And, uh, let's do another mission. A call of system, 0600 hours. Fifteen minutes into the briefing. Alright then, Beta Wing will be led by Hotshot. Paladin, you'll be flying on his wing. And I cannot tell you how I'm looking forward to it, Colonel. Right. <laughs> Since we jumped into the McAuliffe system just a few hours ago, we're still running preliminary reports. Hotshot, you'll be flying a four-point route, checking several potential jump points. Here's your flight plan. Just fly to the nav points and make sure they're clear. Long-range scanners indicate some sort of debris near nav point three. We have reason to believe this might be a Kilrathi minefield. So be especially careful in that area. Questions? Alright then, Delta Wing is Iceman and Angel. You listen as the colonel completes the assignments. That's everyone. Any questions? No hands are raised. Good. Now let's get to work. Squadron dismissed. The subtitle speed in this game is very erratic. Sometimes it takes forever. And sometimes it's like... Meow, meow. And I'm done. Got a groove to this. Whoa! I got a new fighter. That looks a lot like an X-Wing. Alright, let's see. I have a lot of guns. Uh, let's see, I've got two mass drivers as my gun. Three heat seekers and two dumb fires. Okay! I can work with this. And a cool bronze interior. Okay, well it was the 90s. Alright, here we go. 
How fast is my top speed? 360 kbs. That's not actually that bad. And the Hornet could get it to like 410, so this is 50 kps slower. But hey! Okay, we got an enemy. Blast the enemy are upon us! Okay, let's see what this mass driver actually handles in combat. Oh, well, that's a very weird sound. Woo! Are you gonna be as bad as Spirit was about that? Did you just crash into him and kill him that way? Dum, 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 dum. This is not my favorite sound for a gun ever. It has less uh, shots before it runs out than the... The, uh, what's it called? The Hornet did. The lasers from the Hornet. Scored some hits, though. Eh, I'm getting used to this. Come on, die! Maybe these mass drivers, it's supposed to be more heavily armed, right? This thing is supposed to be a heavily armed monster. Maybe that's just in the missiles, because this these mass drivers are not impressing me with their damage. I think he might be running away. Yeah, he's getting farther and farther away. Let's find another target. Got him. Oh, uh, did Paladin get hit by something? I guess not. I guess he got damaged. Ha ha! Good shot, Commander. I'm not a commander. I am a second lieutenant. Okay, well that wasn't bad. I didn't use up any of my missiles. I think I got all three kills, and the very impressive shields on this thing held, so... Good deal. Okay, new objective. I think the explosion decal got stuck. Or the explosion froze. It is very cold in space. Okay. I'm gonna slow down just a little bit. We're moving on to nav point 204. And it's fortunately much closer, and I don't have to go as slow as I did with that transport, or sport, as the commander colonel guy was calling it. Somehow, I don't think that's how slang would evolve, but, you know, whatever. Alright, I think that he said there might be mines between 2 and 3, because we're now moving to 3. So, keep my eye out. I wonder if I can shoot the mines with this mass driver. That might prove useful. I wonder what the actual difference, aside from shooting less frequently, between the lasers and the mass driver is. If I knew that, it would help me... Uh, oh, here comes some mines. Okay. Okay, so they do blow up. I think I have to shoot them. No, okay. Just don't crash into them. Okay, this is not going well. How do you deal with these things? Shooting it work, or was that just luck that it didn't go off? I think it was just luck. Alright, well, I'm just gonna try and race through the minefield here, because I don't know how to deal with them. Shooting them doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, it doesn't. I guess just don't crash into mines. I'm really lucky the ship has such good shields. Okay, new objective. Oh, crap. New nav point, okay. I think that's, that's the end of the minefield. Whew! That was complete and utter luck that I did not die in that minefield. I completely blundered my way through that thing. Alright, well that was an interesting patrol. Unless something happens at nav point 4, we'll just head back to the Tiger's Claw. Call it a day, get a drink from Shot Glass, and uh... Rest oh crap, we got, we got incomings. Alright, I'm gonna use some missiles on these guys. Uh, why did I shoot a dumb fire at this range? Oh, I think Paladin's down! 
Maybe the music wasn't getting stuck and it's actually programmed to do that. Crap, it's just me on my own against these guys. Need a lock. There we go. Oh, he dodged it! Ooh, shield's down in the back. I think I got that one, though. So Paladin had to punch out, I think. So I'm on my own. Okay. I think he dodged that. Nope! Got one more target. And one more missile. It's got your name on it, cat! Missile away! Come on, come on! Yeah! <laughs> Eat it! <laughs> Alright, back to the Tiger's Claw. I hope Paladin isn't dead. I mean, he said he was routed and falling back, so I think he had to RTB. Return to base. Alright, I hope there's no mines or asteroids between me and this thing. Well, I think, honestly... Kill-wise, that's going to boost my score, because I think I literally got all six kills. Paladin may have gotten one, but I don't think he did. Well, I like him better than Spirit, if for the sole reason that he didn't try to murder me quite as many times. 